everyone's having a fantastic evening welcome back to control so for those of you who uh, joined me last time I played this I finished the main story it's done the main story was completed uh, challenging uh, last level um, but a satisfying end a uh, fantastic story all the way through but luckily 
The story doesn't end with the main plot line. Two DLCs, two, were released uh, after the main story was released, so... <laughs> I'm Control? I don't know if that means anything. So, what we're going to do today, of course the chat window's off. <laughs> the chat box, for whatever reason, just doesn't like control. I don't, I don't know what, <laughs> what's wrong with it. it. It doesn't like it. I'll, uh, okay, so let me see your chat windows off because of the lack of o of control, lick of control. <laughs> there it is. Maybe he doesn't like you, Jay. <laughs> hey, loser corner, what's up, man? Great to see you as always. Squid gang, squid gang. All right, so let's just let's just hop back in. Um, and we are going to go speak to the foundation or the board. It's hard to tell what they're actually saying to me. There's so many alternative words whenever they speak to me. All right. So. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hang on. I turned that off from my control stream, but I'm at 26. 26 followers. So we're a little, little over halfway to community deathmatch night. <clears throat> All right, where are we? Foundation. Talk to the board. Locate his corrupted. Oh, right. I might actually want to go get him first. Because, as any of you know from my YouTube video, just how much of a son of a gun Tamani. Tam I didn't do the jukebox on my own time. I have streamed almost every day since and given that. That is my, uh, <laughs> game time. Should be no real surprise that I didn't actually do it on my free time yet. Besides, I am actually extremely close to, um, completing, uh, or almost platinuming the Mega Man Legacy Collection. So, that is my, my current task to complete. I'm one achievement away from platinuming, uh, platinuming it, and it's actually kind of funny what it is that I'm missing. See, I played uh, the Mega Man Legacy Collection on my computer before I got the SSD, and I finished Mega Man's 1 through 5, and then just didn't finish 6 because reasons. So, when I got my SSD, I actually played 6, but it didn't count towards the achievement of getting all of them done, because I needed to have them all done on the same memory stick, I guess you could say. Okay, this wasn't the fastest way to go. So, I actually am replaying through 1 through 5 now, because I actually got the achievement to get 50 gold medals on the challenges. Um, I do not recommend doing that if you want to keep your sanity, but, um, uh, I did it, so now I just have to replay one through, one through five, again. <laughs> That's the wrong way. Turntable's this way. I'm so turned around. Come on, just let's go! Oh, 
Hey, stop dodging me. I don't have time for that crap. Come on, Tomasi, or whatever the heck you pronounce the name. Where are you? Clearly, that's my video problem right now. Yeah. Please don't give me big rock thing. Lodi boys. Hmm. Turns out the shield doesn't work when you're underneath them. Who knew? Okay, so is boss dude gonna show up here? Or, or what? Well, I'm seeing that the rock monster is possess uh, attacking Hissy as well, which is helpful. Oh, hello, a normal person. How are you doing? So... Can I, like, kill that? I don't know if we ever found a way to kill that after. No. But it says this is where we... Too, too many enemies. So where is he? I feel lied to! Tomasi, where are you? I feel like this one should do something. But it does not. Rock Monster's immortal. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be immortal? That just makes sense. Glad you're doing great, a normal person. Now, if only I could figure out how to get Tomasi to show up here. It says he's in this area, but he didn't show up to kill me. And he was really aggressive the first time I met him, so I feel like he'd show up and, and try to kill me if uh, this was the thing that happens. So I guess maybe he's not actually in this room, maybe he's in one of the offshoot rooms here? Well, I'd like to believe he's not hanging out in the storage closet, that would be a little, a little sad. Anyway, Jake, to your point, was it fun? I mean, at times it was fun, because I kind of got to feel a little bit like a speedrunner, which is not something I ever get to feel, usually in any gaming that I do. I never get to feel like a, a speedrunner, but in this particular case, maybe he's in here. In this particular case, it stopped being fun during some of the challenges. Some of the challenges were just stupid. Ah, there you are. Oh, you came right at me. Jesus, and he has... He has a shield on top of everything else? Uh, 
That's some bullshit. Giving this guy his shield. Because if that regenerates, that's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. Stop dodging my shots. Can you dodge all of them? Well, turns out the answer is yes, you can. If you could just stop doing that, that'd be nice. Oh, you son of a bitch. This is not the time. Where'd you go, you asshole? Get back here. Dodge does seem to be the way to go right now. Gotta get that boom. That slam attack is not my weakness. That slam attack is the greatest thing. And Tomasi did not have a shield last time. Yeah, him having a shield is bullshit. Excuse me? No, 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 no. I don't agree with him having one of these with him. Although it's giving me health, so I guess I shouldn't complain too much. Find shelter in the corner. Find shelter in the corner. Okay, well that gets me right through the pillar, apparently. I'll start seizing as soon as I get something I can seize. Okay, I seized. There was a seizing. Unfortunately, something hit me. I didn't even see where it came from. Oh, you mean him slamming me was the problem. Yes, it is. That's because I don't see it coming. All his other attacks give you a little bit of warning. Like, he's gonna, he charges up, he has a bunch of things floating around him, and then he throws them. His slam attack, he's just like, eh. <laughs> it's almost like that Kulix attack in Super Mario RPG. The character, the character model doesn't actually move, so I don't actually know when he's about to do his regular attack. And it just hurts when he does it. Like, it really hurts. He makes a half moon of debris before he slams, as opposed to what? <laughs> Hello, sir. So why are you like... 
boss to it. Oh, you mean a half moon in that direction. So the half moon's actually in front of him, not just around him. I was gonna say, he doesn't half moon around him all the time. That constant moving around is what kills me during a fight with one of these things. Especially where he has a shield, too, right? Dude, that shield freaking regenerates. And apparently has a whole hell of a lot of hit points. Where'd he go? Where'd he even go? Did anyone see where he went? He must have been way above me. Because I was looking around and didn't see him. Alright then. So. Yeah. Yeah, let me try Pierce. Wrong way again. Hey. Oh, I don't have time for you, people. Bye. I had to defeat the very first boss I ever fought. There you are. That's gonna be my problem with Pierce. I only got one chance to hit him, and yeah, there's a tendency to move. If you could just like stand still, that'd be fantastic. Don't think I hit him. Okay, that time I did. Stay a little bit still. The subtle movements are killing me here. Stop getting your shield back. I don't have time for this. So focused on my aim, I don't even see if the energy bar moves. I mean, I'm assuming I hit him that time. Okay, that time I know I did. Okay, so here come your friends. Okay, I will admit that shot was absolutely terrible. Pick up the health, Jesse. Pick up the health. Just keep that guy distracted for a little bit. There's a big one. Okay, 
Okay, full disclosure, I didn't quite mean to kill it. the point of health in this game. You lose it so readily. Well, yeah, I gotta do at least four attempts, because otherwise I would... It wouldn't be the same as the first time I fought him. I know, leave myself no energy is not the meta, but, you know, when there's a lot going on, I kind of get stuck in the situation. Okay. Let's get the non act part of this fight out of the way. Take it up there. That's a good shot right there. shots that time. Okay, them getting protected by a table. Not cool, man. one's there now. The problem is I don't even know if that other one was mine or not because the energy bar was gone. So I might have been shooting at my own guy for all I know. Yeah, I let myself panic. I feel like I should still be able to see it then. Isn't that the play thing to do with a friendly unit? Let me see it even when it's cloaked. 
Every other game lets you do that. All I can say is the monster better not get away at the end of this fight. At the end of this fight, he, he better be done. No more running away. How do you get so much stronger, too? Like, you had way more health than last time. Hey, why are you so high? Get down here. done for now. Hopefully it stays that way. Alright, just stay focused. Hits is all I need. Yeah, that's it. Take that, asshole. The bureau should start. I don't have time for your crap. Communications. That's right, you did. You didn't make it this time, did you? Okay. Whew. Get rid of some of these mods, shall we? Let's 
skirting summary. Poor Tomasi. Tomasi was the one who was trying to kill me. A paranatural object appeared in a field outside the town of Sterling, Colorado, near a billboard advertising redacted. No civilians were injured, though a family dog has been reported as missing since the event. Local authorities arrived on the scene and began issuing orders over a monitored line of communication using several watchboards flagged by the Bureau, including Redacted. Bureau agents from the regional office were dispatched and arrived two hours after local police. The situation was contained and analysis began. Bureau research staff arrived the next day and examined the object. After redacted days of evaluation, the object was lifted into an enclosed truck with built-in black rock panels and relocated to Bureau headquarters via the subway transit system leading to the oldest house. Um, why would they redact the number of days it took to evaluate? evaluate? That seems like a weird thing to redact. And don't take pity on poor Tomasi. He tried killing me twice. All right, so now that that's over and done with, let me explore the room a little bit. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Is that just a radio? Probably gonna play copyright music. I don't have the authority to listen to, apparently. Been trying to kill him at all. The hiss got him. Yeah? And there was nothing I could do about it, so... What are you gonna do? Sterling. Local witnesses report a bright flash in the field and approximately redacted. No noise accompanied the light. Authorities had assumed the object fell from the sky, but our examination found the object actually manifested here. Vaporizing the soil around it with an intense spherical redacted redacted, which possibly explains the light seen from the town. The object is a hollow sphere made of stone-like material. Structural analysis of the material does not redacted redacted on record. The sphere has a broken portion, as if something redacted from the object. The object has been inactive since arriving at the Bureau. The communications department officially stated to the press that the object was a small meteor, while also using the America Overnight program to redact it. See episode 92. This AWE will be studied in the containment sector until the spherical object is deemed safe to be transferred to the investigation sector. Which is where I'm going to go later, I guess, because that's where the Alan Wake stuff is. You're listening to America yeah. Overnight, now in our 29th year, lifting the veil between fiction and reality. Are they doing that, though? Thank you for staying up with us. I've been getting a lot of calls about this meteor in Sterling, Colorado. It's a meteor, bro. There reports of a large spherical container that crash-landed in a field outside town. Some government people reportedly took it away. Now, we happen to broadcast from Colorado, and Sterling isn't far. I drove down myself to check it out with members of the America Overnight team. I don't need to tell you, it wasn't long before we found pieces of metal debris scattered in a field. Listeners, this is yet another instance of an unidentified flying object, or UFO, entering our airspace. Honestly, at this point, that the government took away the aliens would be the least weird thing darkness, I've seen in here. Only compounds the fact that these are more than likely visitors from beyond our planet. Could be. Dare I say, solar system. Head on over to our website to see pictures of the spacecraft pieces we uncovered. Yep. And while you're doing that, our sponsors would like your ear. I'm sure none of that is fake stuff that you collected or took pictures of or anything. I bet it's all on the up and up. Every little bit of it on the up and up. America overnight. We'll be right back. All right, let's go back and tell Emily that. Mossy's dead this time. I mean, it does look just like a rock. I mean, it doesn't look like anything else. So, I mean... Alright, back 
to Central Executive. Talk to Emily. I'm sure she'd love to hear that Tomasi's dealt with. What's he doing all the way over here, anyway? He was in the communications sector when I last met him. He went far. one point. Let's see, weapon forms. Why the heck not? Just just keep upgrading everything. Everything's upgraded now. I doubt I would need any of these. And we'll see. Slide projector requires a slide to open dimensional doorways. That Look, just shut up about the slide projector, would you? I took care of the Tomasi problem. Sorry, I forget he was a co-worker. Don't apologize. That wasn't the real Tomasi. He died when the hiss got him. You're right. I just didn't want to be insensitive. Sentimentality is a weakness in situations like these, Jesse. Mm. That's Bureau 101. I don't think Emily's in danger of being called sentimental. Clearly. Well, I've got a bureau to run. Yeah, don't worry, I do. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. <laughs> Where are the files on I love that they just accept me as the uh, the director. No experience. So uh, I talk to. The, oh, I gotta go back to the hotline chamber. That actually makes sense. What do we got here? There you go, Jay. You'll be happy to know I have all the C's. No more seizing can happen. No more no more seizing upgrades can occur at all. Although, that being said, is there really a lot of instances where I could seize two at one time? Because it feels like I'm either one-shotting things or having to focus on things, so getting them both down seems a little unlikely. Happened. Did that explode? It didn't even look like an explodey thing. Good thing I use all my, all my source, so there isn't actually any to lose. In the oldest house we Can we seriously do something about the poor people that are still stuck on the ceiling? Like, Jesus. The 
they're still stuck up there, they're still chanting. Like, can we seriously not do anything for the poor people? That went the wrong way. I went too far. It's been a while since I've been here. I forgot the way to do everything. Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. How long has that been ringing? Even if it was a dream, I feel Darling reached out to me through the hotline. I... Situation. Crisis. Uh-oh, in Foundation. We demand your attention. Moxie. All this house is in danger. We open the door, tree in maintenance. Hurry, post haste. Problem in the Foundation. That was Ati's vacation spot. We need to check this out. Ugh, do I want to do one of those? Last time I tried doing one of those, it, it, it blew up in my face. That's in the Ritual Division 2. Okay, where is it in the Ritual? Okay, so theoretically right there. Well, fine. I can make a brief detour to try and get one of these. Maybe it gives me more skill points. And maybe, maybe I can get, like, health or something. Because health is so useful in this game. Junior officer, he's mine. Asshole, did you just get in my way? Useless. that it has. Awesome. That one was easy. I don't think it gave me any ability points or anything, though. What is it trying to track here? Find the door. <laughs> There's only one. Alright. Okay, so is Ivy breaking the place or something? I don't want to have to fight Ati. He's my bro. He gave me my uh Arc. Gender Quiet. Outfit. Transdimensional. This place really suits Ati. So I guess the question is which way am I going? That way? So that etching is the door. Okay, let's try opening it. Okay, we're gonna open the door. <clears throat> it's 
Foundation. No time for sightseeing. The board said this was an emergency. Why is the ground red? That's creepy. Is there a map here? Ooh, this is a big map. Oh, batteries know just what to do with you. I've had I've had quite the pass like with no these batteries. Ozzy, why aren't you cleaning up? Sorry guys, wife's texting me. Yeah, you don't even know ignore text from the wife. Yeah, it looks kind of pretty, and but would be having a field day down here. My life's been a strange one. Uh huh. Certainly stranger than I'd like it, but this place—it's something else. It just like the cave walls crawl, the walls slither. It's a ship on the street. It's just another draft. This is the strongest target ever. Northmore. Acting director in Northmore now is on a train from Washington. He'll Acting expect director. answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that I'm at least trying to understand. Why was there an acting director? He searched his entire life for something like this. And we find it one week after he's buried. He always hated irony. Of course, father, the great director, Ash, would have been the first man in. And look at me. Ah, uh, so this is a really old recording. Head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. Oh, so yeah, so this is a this is an old recording then. Wait, scissors path there. Okay, so it's blocked off by these crystals. Okay, so I am being funneled this way. The foundation. The bottom of the oldest house. Stop the hiss. Marshall? How was she on the hotline? Unless... She's dead. <sighs> Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything. So what happened to her again? I'm guessing down there would be a very bad thing. And why is there a hiss down here of all places? Well, they're dead, so don't even worry about it. Well, I can see this is going to be like a maze already. Okay, so those are like bottomless pits by the look of it, so I don't want to go down there. So just keep going this way. Research site delta. Okay, so both of them go back that way. Like I said, this is a, this is a maze area down here right now. See floaty boys. Why are there 
Slowly voice. How long have they been down here? Because she literally just said, no one's been down here in a while. Hello? These crystals are indestructible, apparently. This way in the meantime. Cave paintings. At first I thought the cave paintings in the foundation chronicled ancient humans' encounters with natural occurrences like weather, but it soon became clear they depicted events far outside the average human experience. Also it seems I was wrong to assume the images are ancient. Whoops. Radio carbon dating suggests something impossible, that I've been down here longer than the paintings. That's absurd, though. The style and medium clearly indicate a pa Paleolithic origin. I was ready to conclude that an ancient community of humans lived in or around the oldest house. Now with this information, I don't know what to think. Is one of our agents drawing these, or is there someone down here with us? This place is a habit of skewing my results, so perhaps the data is corrupted. Or perhaps some paintings were created at different times. The art does seem to chronicle not only the past, but also the present, and possibly even the future. I see in them echoes of the board, some linear architecture. Even that could be interpreted as a director. Are the paintings telling a story that is still being written? If so, who is writing it? Dun dun dun. Where are these paintings though, though? I want to check out these paintings. Jeez. I my way around here is going to be nuts. Uh, hello? What the heck are those things? Is sharpened? Okay. <laughs> His sharpened agents display the peri-utilitarian ability to rapidly move short distances. This ability is unique in the fact that it's not associated with any known object of power. However, we should not discount the possibility that this ability is an object variation. For example, abrupt physical relocation could be potentially be a variant of the jukebox's effect. Other explanations of the His sharpened abilities in currently include Momentary time manipulation, brief increase in physical speed, inhibiting the witness's sense of sight. If we do accept that the Hiss Sharpen's ability is not connected with a, to a known object of power, then the Hiss are either manifesting unique supernatural abilities, or there are objects in the house that we aren't aware of. Either way, the Hiss are continuing to develop new strains of corruption, and this is a cause for concern. And they can do that even though... There's no more new Hiss being created. So, those hiss were created down here and left down here? <clears throat> Tom, you missed the good news. I'm sure the official memo will go out soon, but Northmore called and all hands at the crossroads to announce we're finally moving out of this hell hole and up into the house proper. Vero Brass apparently solved the moving walls problem, or at least figured out a way to pinpoint where and when they happen. All I know is going to end up... Is going up means goodbye darkness, goodbye weird lunches with that ex-Nazi scientist, and goodbye pissing into the pit. I know that was you, Barry. Northmore's ordering the Foundation sealed as soon as we can haul our stuff out and somehow convince Ash to come with us. He's the only one kicking up a fuss. This is long overdue. We've lost 11 men and damn near $10,000 in supplies moving between the entrance and the Foundation. And for what? Research? Ash is bad if he thinks he wants us to stay down here and sift through more sand for him. It's just rusted iron flakes anyway. Did you know that? We were breathing that shit in. 
Uh, so this is going to be the case of, like, the director's son <clears throat> wanting to prove himself. And then, getting, and then getting everybody else stuck down here. Man, oh man. This is really made like... Beware of dangerous toxic geysers. The foundation of this place is... Hellhole. Like, <laughs> sorry to break it to you guys, but your oldest house is sitting on top of a very, very uh, dangerous place. I have a feeling I cannot stand on that. Am I supposed to get a new power or something? Because I don't know how else I'm supposed to get up there. Okay. Come back later. It wouldn't surprise me if the DLC gives you an extra power at some point. To kind of spice things up, you know? Which, I mean, it would be cool, rather than just making it more of the same thing. Mr. Wilder, I have some bad news. You remember that Robert Ricardo fellow we brought in as a special consultant to map the lower caves? Well, today he found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls and a strange black pillar in the center. Kind of looks like the one at the crossroads, but smaller. We had a bureau member shadowing him, but whatever happened in there did a number on our guest. The docs are taking a look, but it's pretty clear Mr. Adventure's exploring days are over. I know we were careful to limit this guy's exposure to the non-ordinary. Drugging him and carrying him through the upper floor was a real hoot, by the way. But we really need to reevaluate our policies on external contractors. Honestly, we'd, be we'd be better off forming a special division trained in repelling and orienteering than subjecting more outsiders to the shit we deal with. They almost always end up dead or loony. Yeah, that does seem like kind of a weird thing to try and do is bring out outside people. How do you explain anything? That's not the right button. That is. Now, well, we're going into a big room, which usually means I'm about to get the crap kicked out of me by something. The astral plane is cutting into our dimension. Okay, that's not this cool. This happens in the upper floors. It'll destroy the bureau. Okay, So what's causing this now? With the astral plane now physically accessible, a torrent of new information has been collected on the entities known as astral copies. The copies' bodies are composed of dense stone-like material that is both resilient under controlled circumstances and brittle when struck with significant force. Whether the astral copies possess individual consciousness or are directed by a higher intelligence such as the board remains unknown. However, their shared aggression seems to in indicate a unified goal. Director Faden's encounters with these entities and binding objects of power in the astral plane indicate they serve as live targets for potential peri-utilitarians to practice on. Some have been equipped with bureau weaponry, though it seems unlikely they were armed by our personnel. It's important to note they appear immune to his corruption. Well, if they're not living creatures, that would explain why they are not susceptible. Is 
So at some point, if I'm able to get up there, then I must need some new power, because right now, there's no way for me to go up. I wish I'd brought Emily with me. I could really use my head of research right about now. Hey, don't get sentimental. Marshall? Marshall! You're alive! No, oh, she she ain't alive. She she is the dead. Wait! It's Jesse! No. The no, director! No. She she she's the dead. Or his. Or both. Maybe something else entirely. This game is just throwing curveballs. Whoa. This place Crossroads. is huge. Marshall? Can you hear me? She was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. Let's see what's going on with that pillar first. We could investigate the nail, but there's also doors here. I kind of want to see the doors. There might be files and stuff in here, right? I'm pretty sure there's like... It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to that shifting. But okay. we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable. Which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. That was good. Northmore even made a discovery. A pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange mm. enemy pillar. Seems like something out of a storybook, except the heroes usually find swords, not handguns. But it is this the guy? perfect lure for someone like him. This guy? Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me to spout some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. He ran it about the title being meaningless before now. Calling father and all other previous directors. Oh, he sounds like an awesome human being. I think this place is worse for Northmore than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed mm. a dozen of my men, and now it's handing out presents? Is it playing some sort of game? Interesting. If it is, we're most certainly losing. Hell, we don't even know the rules. Because the whole thing is that this pistol can only be used by the director. So if it was a gift, it was a gift from the board, then wouldn't it? The pillar found in the crossroads is best described as an onyx spike that protrudes from the cave floor like an imposing stalagmite. Despite its aggressive silhouette, the structure has an undeniable allure. Frude would certainly have something to say about the pillar's over, overly erect nature, uh, but I'm more drawn to Whitmore's essay on dynamic layers, structures within structures, the fractal mirror in every beam. Given its significant location, I believe the pillar is either the very heart of the oldest house or an intrusion within that heart. Or perhaps like a husk of a seed from which the oldest house sprouted. Cartier wrote that great architecture isn't built, it grows. But then why does the pillar look so different from the rest of this place's concrete walls and rocky caverns? It's easier to see it as an anomaly, a buried artifact, a foreign body, a demonic phallus. One of these pillars is any more welcome here than we are. Great, so we got some scientists come down here, and there you go. That's a penis. For all my research into the oldest house's ley lines, I still don't understand why they converge here at the base of this pillar. I suppose the simplest reason is that they have to converge somewhere, Occam's razor and all that. But that seems wrong. The esoteric world abhors coincidence. So what is the true relationship between this pillar and the ley lines? Does it act as a magnet attracting them? Polar north? Or is the pillar a product of their focused energies? A sprout nourished by the constant flow of the oldest house's power? Perhaps classifying the power will provide some insight. However, we currently have no means of measuring or quantifying it. Given time, it may become possible to collect and even harness this energy. On that note, Northmore is bringing in the much-lauded Dr. Gustav Wagner from the headquarters in D.C. to aid my research. I suppose it is his way of saying he doesn't trust me to work unsupervised. Let's hope, just hope Dr. Wagner is as smart and as his dearly departed Führer once believed him to be. Jeez, YouTube's gonna block this video? <laughs> Am I allowed to be saying these words? I 
Well, I, I guess unless I'm actually talking about actual history, which I, I, I'm clearly not. <laughs> All right, Pillar, what are you? I've sufficiently scoured the place for collectibles. Nail door monolith is hurt. Touch revere to enter. Okay. I will enter the pillar, which doesn't sound dangerous at all. Repair the nail link to prevent astral consumption collision. This is the director's duty plot. This is the plot, yeah. Authorized for a single new tool upgrade. Use it to save the foundation, us, Bureau. Left self or right weapon. Only one is permitted. Which will you choose to become? So I can only choose one? I thought I was done with these tests. Well, that doesn't seem fair. Alright, so that's my new power. What does this do? So, shatter. Draw out. This stuff self a brand shape manipulate. That's your shape. That is the wrong button. That's your shape. We are tweaking, cultivating the ability. You. Oh, thanks for tweaking me. That's not weird at all. Mineral roots barnacles grow across the foundation. Use the new upgrade self to shape and infiltrate. First director to receive or earn this. You should feel honored and handled. I should feel handled. After being shaped, eh? So does that mean I wouldn't be able to use them a second time? Dismantled, <sighs> loosened the four locks, keys, and the guffins located in the fringe nowhere of the astral plane. Actual bleeding collision has spread, lost them. Do this and the nail will be repaired. Blue crisis averted. Yes, bonus round. Kiss our present. Trespass and snooping is prohibited. Okay, I got it. No trespassing. You let me in here, though. This is a fun ability that I forgot about because you don't use it in the AWE DLC. You don't you oh, because you... It, there wouldn't be any rocks in the investigation sector. Gotcha. I was like, why would I not use it? Yeah, this isn't nerve-wracking at all. Okay, am I out? Okay, let's review. This broken pillar is called the nail. nail. It was broken by something, and now the astral plane is bleeding into the foundation, which will destroy the oldest house, the bureau, and everyone inside. I need to find four locks or keys, or whatever, to stop that from happening. But I'm the director. I've handled worse. This should be simple. Oh, that's some famous Ish. last words, Jesse. You with me? <sighs> Who's she still talking to?
didn't think Polaris was still in the head. God, I'm so gonna get lost in here. Okay. That's it, just break the ceiling. Don't worry about your head, it's fine. It's fine. I'll activate you, but I don't think I'm gonna go do you yet. Where the heck am I? The melee? I got a melee. Well, that's why you're trying. I was like, well, I know how to melee. Why are you telling me how to melee? I'm offended that you were trying to make me melee. Like I didn't know what I was doing. Jerks. Okay, warehouse path. Complete the ritual in the warehouse. Which I'm guessing is this way. Warehouse! So far there appears to be a lot of empty space between these, uh... Okay, what I really want is this ability. I'll get energy back while I, uh, while I have my shield up. Got a lot of little trailer thingies down here, don't they? You said this was swallowing people. How many people did you have down here? <sighs> the oldest house has revealed much to me during my months in the Foundation, but many questions remain. Primarily, the tree etchings bewilder me. What is their significance? If the house has changed shape over its lifetime, as I've theorized, then was a tree its first form? I sent a team to the Schwarzman building in search of pre elements accounts of Manhattan Island. From those I discovered a single relevant line, and there I found a tree not known to me, the devil twisted within its bark. That line, taken with the fact that the certain American cultures believe some trees would offer wisdom and guidance, is indeed interesting. However, it's hardly firm evidence, and though I am now bound to the oldest house, I remain a man of science. Of course, there are numerous ancient beliefs regarding trees, Yggdrasil, the tree of knowledge, the Aksumix Chu. Some cultures offered blood sacrifices to trees, while others claimed trees endowed chosen individuals with inhuman powers. Do New York City's main, mur main murderers act as a sacrifice to the oldest, for the oldest house? Does the house have a chosen champion? Is it me? Are you a serial killer? I hope not. Well, I broke it now. Not that I really wanted to shower anyway. Anything in here? I got some files. Pyramidic geometry. I've been going through my library researching pyramids and triangles. If that shape does relate to the board, as Northmore says, and perhaps our predecessors in the occult can offer some insight through their geometric knowledge. In esoter esotericism, the triangle is closely associated with the Holy Trinity and other three part concepts. Past, present, future. Mind, body, spirit. Interestingly, the term board also applies simple multiple parts. Upright triangles in geo-Christian Christian imagery indicates ascent to the rational divine realm. Inverted, it just signifies the descent into the corporeal human. Naturally, the ascent is masculine and the fall is feminine, Adam and Eve. That's just a bit of old world patriarchy. It's 1964 now and we're well past that silliness. Yeah. Sexism was solved in 1964. Considering the above, what does the inverted triangle tell us about the board? They are clearly not corporeal or human. Perhaps they wish to be, or they once were? The likeliest answer is simp simply the theological imagery cannot help us define alien entities. But still, the pyramids seem significant. Shapes have power, and clearly so does the board. Well, that is true. Are the board aliens? What are they? Other worldly entities? 
Yeah, you see. I don't want to know what any of that means, but okay. Jeez, am I actually there's an achievement I think to find all of that stuff? All the collectibles. Let me just let me just take a quick check if Steam will let me. It won't. Is this a bureau ID badge? It looks so old. Pope will definitely want to see this. Do I go back and show Pope now? Hello. Hello? Open up. No? How rude. I feel like something should be attacking me or something. This room is way too open and there's the spiky things there. Keep hitting E instead of F. We have a place to leave an ID card, but... Okay. Weird flex, but okay. You have a third upgrade slot for that. Rip. Yeah, like I said, the chat window, no good. Control just, just doesn't like my stream labs. And I wish I could tell you why. I don't know. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sure, let's just do a damage boost. Yeah, I wish I could figure out why Control just messes with my stream lab so bad. I wish I had an answer. Spent inside what we're calling the oldest house. Northmore insists on the name. Okay, so that's not what it's called. I'm tired to ask why. I'm not sleeping. Great, I can't. Her go orders. Here. Me and my research team have established a permanent examination lab in the foundation. I basically live down here now, like the obedient head of research father raised me to be. I spend my days investigating that odd pillar when Northmore mm -hmm. found the handgun. The work was half hearted at first, I admit. But now you're obsessed then with knowing. I discovered numerous non-Aristotelian energy channels converging. Yeah, that's a big word. Ley lines, dragon roads, Pilagalinian, call them what you want. But this pillar is the crossroads. I started building something. Equal parts talisman and technology. Hmm. An array that can impose order on the ley junctions. That's the idea, at least. We'll see what I'm done. I prefer to work away from the pillar. I'm not the only one who feels like that thing has eyes. Yeah, well, that's not scary. Did that come out when I grabbed this? Freeman here. I haven't had a chance to look at the BFG 9000 yet. I was going to do it before uh, the stream, but I ended up having to clean up because my baby made a huge mess back there. I'll probably watch it after or tomorrow morning. After numerous attempts, I finally found a way to intercept and contain the ambient energy of the ley lines in a kind of non 
astrocytelian battery I've dubbed the power core. I admit it was a difficult capturing an energy I can barely measure, much less interact with it. Luckily, it seems that the porous stone of the Foundation's caverns possesses such con conductive qualities. Using stove flakes and copper wire, my power cores collect significant power. My early prototypes collected too much, in fact, but have since reinforced the container. We don't yet know the repercussions of tapping into this power field. As a precaution, these devices should not be taken outside of the house. Ideally, the Bureau should no longer need to rely on typical energy sources. It's my greatest feat of engineering yet. I've always had an interest in invention. I like the creativity that it allowed, set within the firm boundaries of logic and physics. Father never approved, calling it a mundane science. With that in mind, I dedicate this invention to Theodore Ash Sr. May he scowl in peace. Uh, another one of those fantastic father-son relationships. Uh, okay, that is a lot of energies. And I'm guessing I was looking for this one in particular, because all the rest seem broken. Now, oh, I've also just picked up that one, apparently. And nothing here? Okay, tunnel access. Okay, so what was the point of that? To make it put a battery in there? Tutorial for something later, maybe? While you look for shiny batteries? Possibly. The tutorials in games are tight. Entry day plus 51. Northmore has ordered an all hands search for objects similar to the service weapon. So this is all his fault. He claims there are more in the house. Though I don't see how he's so certain. He's been strange lately. Talking about joining greater causes and frequently mentioning the pyramid. Mm -hmm. After pressing him, he finally described this pyramid to me. Inverted, black, mathematically perfect. Oddly enough, Adam and the other id have shown me numerous inverted triangles painted on the cave walls. Surely there's a connection. I don't see it yet. The board is made up as of far ancient as the ancient Neanderthal go. Triangles are by no means rare. Flood, Levi, Kroll, they used that shape like it was going out of fashion. Standing on their base, triangles signify stability and strength. We're reading way too deep Inverted in this triangle thing, bro, bro. They represent conflict and stagnation. Of course, the orientation is just a matter of perspective. Looking at the pyramid from below gives you one. From above, another. Northmore says he looks up at the inverted pyramid. I have to wonder, is anyone standing over it, looking down? So first he is super obsessed with the shape thing, and now he's getting existential about it. I think the time down underground has really started messing with this poor kid. I say kid, I have no idea. Ooh, shit. Well, I dicked that up. Okay, let's, let's try that again. Uh, yeah, I come back down. I didn't realize there was a sheer drop-off, and I fell. So, could you, could you come back, please? Maybe. Are you coming? Okay. I was like, Jesus, what's taking so long? Me and me and me. That's unsafe, what just happened. There's just no railing or anything. This is dangerous, man. The oldest house is unsafe. Multiple safety violations. Why are these frickin' things just lying around, anyway? Like, why couldn't you just build a bridge? Just why?
Yeah, I feel like that's the thing I have to come back and look at later. In the meantime, let's go towards the light. I see the light. This is probably one of those times when the shatter would have been good. I'm guessing. Ooh, another control point. Man, they're just giving them away at this point. Well, I know it's a control point. Just make sure to see the BFG 9000. I'm going to post a chain gun tomorrow. Awesome. So I never actually asked. Are these BFG 9000s and chain guns, are these like life size or are they model size? Because I know you've done some cosplay work in the past, so I don't know what you were going for at this point. I was going to say, nothing's attacked me in a while. So that is actually the way out. Right. Let's get rid of some of these mods. Man, this this carrying a mod thing is just killing me here. Yeah, you just chill out up there for a while, okay? Keep making your weird noises, I'll just chill out down here. Ooh. Oh, that explodes. That's awesome, we just have exploding ball things lying around. Most games usually just have exploding barrels, but this game has exploding high boss mess thin looking things. Which is better, I guess. I'm here, aren't I? I saved the Bureau once, and I'll do it again. Yeah, hang on. I haven't looked at these two hotline things. I've served under two directors. Three now, I suppose. Trench and I worked our way up together. We made it through the tough cases, the bad days, casualties. He was the epitome of a good agent. Smart, decisive, selfless. Then he picked up that damn gun. Becoming director is a formal process overseen by the board. Lots of ritual yeah, no and mystery. Kidding. After that, key staff provide detailed briefs on all classified matters. Past and present, but with Faden. 
well. There's no protocol for field promotion. The girl's smart, has a good head on her shoulders. Darn right, I do. I'm trusting her to handle the hiss upstairs while I hold them off here. All this shit with the nail, the board, I'm not sure she's ready. Besides, I work better alone. Well, uh, I hate to break it to you, to you, but I guess you didn't. I only heard of the Foundation when I became head of operations. The very bottom of the oldest house, director access only. Just the name alone is classified. Zachariah gave me a tour the day I was promoted. Said I should see it for myself. To understand. After that, I snuck down on my own from time to time to keep tabs on the place. And on them. But nothing ever changed down there. Not even the walls. It's solid. Permanent. Different from the rest of the house. Of course, they were always watching me. I never stay long. I'm not stupid. I have to stop the hiss from finding this place. I'm the only one who can. I could have helped. I don't understand what this crap is about you working better alone. I could have helped. Because if, if Jesse's right about how the hotline works, you're dead. Okay, so if I didn't pick this power, how would I be getting around right now? Am I meant to get around this way? Or would they simply just change how things worked? And I would have went in a different direction. Okay, so far I'm not really doing anything. I'm just kind of running around and killing hiss. I know they're saying there's like a uh, ritual or something I gotta do, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. Never mind. Shooting at me? Okay, I guess there's something behind the rock. Okay, well, I guess I should have done that. I thought it was the last enemy, I like using the ground pound. I'm a little sorry. That that looked painful. This weekend we're doing a uh, learning from a learning with Doom, Doom guy. What do you mean a learning? How do I mean? Well, I mean like so. Jay, I chose a power that lets me bring the the rocks out towards me, right on the wall. Um. With that, it made some of these areas that I just went to accessible. So if I didn't get this power and had picked a different, the other power, which was Shatter, how would I have gotten around? Oh, hello, cat. Oh, I'll see. Okay. Wait. Did I do a circle just then? 
there are some paths you can't go down because you need shadow. Okay, so, but in this, in this particular case, this direction I'm going seemed to require the, uh, the shape pattern, or, what, or shape uh, ability, whatever it's called. And this is right after picking the, the ability, so that's why I was wondering, is there, like, one that I'm supposed to do? But how would I have gotten to this area if I hadn't done it, right? Destroying all the hit stones will lower his barriers. Okay. Okay, well that counts as having the uh, thing in the way, I guess. Inside the cage. I guess I'll just make the elevator come up. Or come down. I guess it could also come down. So I won't be able to go down it, but remember you needed the ability to even go out to this path. So basically the game could direct me in two different areas depending on which I picked. I'm sorry, like am I supposed to... I don't care. I really don't care. Okay, so I'll make it go down here. Or not. But, if I... Is everything just broken now? Let's know that's in here. Then. I am so confused. Because it's saying I need a battery to get the elevator moving. But without getting the elevator moving, the hiss thing is in the way, but the hiss thing is preventing me from getting the battery. So that's what I'm wondering if there's like some shape thing I'm supposed to do, but it doesn't appear to be working. I don't know if there's another direction to go. Huh? 
was I supposed to do that? What was I missing? Or can I not do that section? That's what bothers me, is what if I couldn't do it yet? And I just didn't know that I couldn't do it yet. But if so, where do I go? Now that chain link fence seems way too strong. Like, bullets bouncing off chain link, and again, there's definitely holes there. You figure I'd be able to, like... in the background now. I'm not doing it, it's not me, I promise. Did I not go up far enough? Or did I go up too far? I don't like the cracking noise that makes. How is that not? Destroying it. Like this chain link fence is indestructible, is it? And that ladder's on the inside, which isn't helpful. Oops. I keep forgetting explodey things hurt. Like I feel like if the elevator was up, it coming down would you know, mess these things up a little bit. Really? Explosions won't kill it? Really? But the melee attack does? This shit is dumb! Great, and how am I supposed to get Melee this now too, or what? That calls it, but I don't need a call. I need to get in here. I want my chest. Oof, whatever. Upper warehouse, let's go! Okay, well this sounds this looks and sounds pleasant. Nothing wrong here folks, everything's fine. It's just a little red, nothing to worry about. Christ, how high up am I supposed to be now? This is ridiculous. I mean at this point point I'm gonna end up inside one of the freaking like bathrooms of the oldest house.
See if I knew where the duplicates here or something. I don't know what elemental source game is. Uh, game is Other supposed to be etching, like. like the one I used to get in here. Uh, God, is this gonna take me somewhere else? That's a pit. So I guess yes, we are going to do this. We're going to sleep. Coax the door. Okay then. Died right from the get go. I have no one to blame on myself though. I kind of blew myself up earlier. Lost all my health. At least the elevator works now. I should just be playing the old Gods of Asgard song the whole time, it'll get me so hyped. I'll be able to take on all of these enemies. It's all about want and destruction, guys. Price, is this still coming? stuff. <laughs> I don't know if that did anything. They can just throw shit at you. That's awesome. Yeah, I knew that was going to die. I needed to kill that thing in order to get through that, and I ended up missing and getting myself killed. That was my own fault. I feel like there should be a control point right next to that. I'm guessing maybe the control point is through the door. I wouldn't even care so much if it wasn't for the fact I had to wait for a long ass elevator. That's what would kill me kills me in a game if I die and I get sent backwards. I don't even really care unless I'm like stuck doing nothing. Because at least, you know, while I'm doing this, I have a little bit of fun moving around and keeping the wrong button. 
have fun moving around, jumping around, but now I, I can't do anything. I just I just sit here and, and, and wait. And do nothing. And, and wait. And just sit here. And wait. Wait some more. It's not even a short waiting period either. It's it's a very long waiting period. Alright, let me in, let me in, let me in. So, is the one that I destroyed here dead still? Actually hitting it, but it sounds like I'm hitting it. So. Kill the art. That orc just, orc just dodged my shit. Okay, we guess we're good. We can go now. Locks, ancient, reason, Abalone. Is this the lock slash key the board told me about? Was that the enemy that I saw inside the refrigerator? Which is a hilarious thing to say with no context. Well done, season. Only three keys tethers remain. Our nail is rebuilding, loosening. Just doing my job. I do. And just over so clear, I can't go out that way. At least it's just a bottomless pit of death. Back down there. So, where is the intended place for me to go next? I wonder. Guessing back to the crossroads. But I could go back to like the beginning area and try to get to some of those hidden areas there. Why not? See my abilities. Working on the shield, can I get it? Yeah. This is the one I want. 
This one will make my shield way too overpowered. All right. So guys, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for tonight. I want to thank everybody who stopped in. Loser Corner, Jay, a normal person I saw pop in and out. I want to thank you guys so much for showing up and watching the stream as always. You are the real MVPs. So I will see you guys maybe tomorrow or Saturday. We'll see. And I will see you guys later on.